Hi, this is Dave from Pandemic Hall Production. This is part two of how we're turning my basement into the Pandemic Workshop. Last time I showed you a little foam carving, now we put these cracks in the walls. Well, I want to finish up the foam carving by putting in some concrete block. It's a fun project that anybody can do, so let's get started. Now, I did this part of the wall a couple days ago. It came out awesome. I also did the right side and the left side. It looks like the wall's just crumbling away, that the smooth surface is just peeling away from the concrete. It looks great. Now we just gotta do this one little top section here. Okay, I just wanted to show you some of the tools we're gonna use. Uh, we got the uh, hot wire foam factory kit out again. On the left, we're gonna have our uh, engraving tool. That's gonna do the outline of the block. And on the right is our freeform router tool, which is gonna make our grout lines. Also, to make the texture, we're going to use a spray bottle and a heat gun. Okay, I got my hot wire foam factory engraving tool hooked up. There you go. We're going to start by going around this line all the way around the block. Nice and slow and easy. Okay, now we got our outline done. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's supposed to look like cracked concrete anyway. Next, we're gonna do our grout lines with our freeform rider tool. Uh, it's very easy to do. Let's do it. Okay, to make our grout lines, we're gonna use this tool right here. This is called the freeform rider tool. What's really nice about this tool is you can bend this wire to any shape you want, and it'll hold that shape. It's really good for making grout lines. It's good to make like contours or anything like that, which you want a constant shape. Right now, I have it bent into the shape of a grout line. Let's get started. Okay, now we're just gonna follow our straight lines right in the center of our tool, going nice and slow. And you really have to let the wire cut. Now, remember, you want to make it different depths and you want to go a little jagged because it's supposed to look like an old grout line. What's really nice about this, all you're left with is this little thing right here. No dust, just little strips of grout.
Okay, they made this look like real concrete block. It's time for the texture. What I did first is I put some blue painter's tape around the outside edge because when we use the heat gun, I don't want the heat to, to touch the smooth surface. I just want the concrete block to be melted away. So first we're gonna do, you're gonna take the water bottle and you're gonna spray it down. Then you're gonna take your heat gun. This is not a hair dryer, it's a heat gun. Okay, it gets up to a thousand degrees and it gets very hot to melt foam. You start at one block and just slowly melt it away. And when you get to the edges, you want to be careful. Like I said, I don't want to burn the edges where the smooth is supposed to be. But I do want to get a little set in there. Just keep adding a lot of water. Okay, now you can leave it like this, okay, which looks pr pretty good, okay, but it's a really rough finish. From the water beads, it actually puts these little dimples that pop out, and uh, that's not really the look I'm going for. I want more of a, 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 uh, a smooth look, something that's been weathered over time. So what you gotta do is you gotta dry this whole wall, no water at all, dry it down, and then go back over it with the heat gun, and very lightly, low heat, and just smooth out the, the high ridges and, and dimples from the water. Okay, now the wall is completely dry. Ready for me to go over one more time with the heat gun. Nice and slow. Go. Nice cracked concrete wall. Made out of pink foam insulation from the Home Depot. And it looks really good. Next time we're going to paint this whole thing. I'm going to show you the different paint techniques that I know how to use and uh, how to really make uh, foam look real. Uh, until then, I'm Dave from Pandemic Home Production. Thank you for watching my videos. Any questions, comments, leave them below. And uh, until next time, thank you.